Howdy folks, it's General Heat here today. How is everyone doing? Happy Saturday. So, uh, hopefully it's a great weekend for you guys. Uh, so for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a secret weapon in Halo 5 that a lot of you probably were not aware of, or at least never seen it before. So the weapon I'm talking about, well, it may look very familiar to you guys, um, but before I show it to you guys, let me just uh, give you guys a little brief uh, refresher of this particular weapon just so you guys can remember the differences because it's very similar to uh, this weapon and the weapon I'm talking about is the Prophet's Bane under uh, energy swords and the uh, under covenant weapons so let me just spawn it real quick there's a bunch of energy sword variants but the one we're gonna look at is the Prophet's Bane first so the Prophet's Bane itself that's not the secret weapon that's you know it's a common well not common it's like a mythic weapon I think in the rec packs but Everybody knows about it. It's not, you know, secret or anything. But this is what it looks like, and just, uh, and I am on Halo 5 PC because there's a specific reason why it's easier to show you the secret weapon this way. Um, but you can see the weapon on the Xbox version of Halo 5. But anyways, the Prophet's Bane, you know, is this really cool energy source, the one that Arbiter uses in campaign, and in multiplayer, it gives the, it gives you invisibility when you, um, when you're holding it at least. Now, the secret weapon I'm talking about, if you want to see it in multiplayer, you're going to have to use Halo 5 Forge, and you're going to want to use Game Cheat's uh, a, uh, Playground, actually, his Playground map in Halo 5, and all the weapons are spawned here, and it's a really cool map, but we're going to be taking a look specifically at the weapon here, which is called the Ancestral Blade, this one, and over here we have another Prophet's Bane, but the Ancestral Blade is the weapon that we are going to be focusing on, so let's pick it up. So at first glance, it looks like any ordinary Prophet's Bane, but there's actually a few differences. The first one is that you don't become invisible. The second one is that it's weapon icon in the top right, and when you pick it up, it says uh, energy sword. Well, it doesn't say that. It shows an energy sword icon, even though it's a Prophet's Bane. And the third difference is the handle. It's kind of like a reddish color. Whereas the actual Prophet's Bane, the handle is kind of like a more gold metallic color. Now, there's actually two Prophet's Banes in a game. One you can't access and one you can. The one you can access is the one that makes you invisible. But the other one that I just picked up here is a Prophet's Bane. It's, the, it's one that doesn't make you invisible at all. I'm pretty sure this is the Prophet's Bane from the Halo 5 beta. Because if you remember during the beta, it was called the Prophet's Bane at the time. And it did look just like this, but it did not make you invisible at the time. So my guess is that the Halo 5 Beta Prophet's Bane is still in this game. But that is not the purpose of this video. That um, The purpose of this video is we're going to be taking a closer look at the Ancestral Blade. But right now, with uh, both weapons on the ground, you can take a closer look at the two side by side. So really, the only difference between the Ancestral Blade and the Prophet's Bane is just the handle. The color of the handle, at least. Other than that... It's pretty much the same, aside from the invisibility compared to the uh, the wreck version of the Prophet's Bane. So it's a pretty cool weapon, uh, but why why uh, why do you need to use mods to bring it out? Well, you don't necessarily need to. In multiplayer, you do, and the mod only works on um, the PC version of Halo 5. But this weapon actually does appear elsewhere in the game, in the Halo 5 campaign. And this is where you can actually check it out on your own without needing to mod the game. So the reason why I wanted to show you that in multiplayer first is because I can explain it to you a lot better before we show it to you in campaign. So in campaign, there is one mission where you can actually get the Ancestral Blade. And that is at the beginning of the Battle of Sinion mission. You have to uh, follow the route I just took and then jump onto this ledge here and pick up this uh, storm rifle here before Arbiter climbs up and, uh, and before you destroy this anti-air turret here. Once you've everything's all good, then you can destroy the turret and also make sure you have plasma grenades. You can ensure that you have plasma grenades by playing as a veil or you can kill some grunts um, on your way up here. But once uh, Arbiter starts climbing up here, just wait until he climbs over the ledge and then quickly stick him and it will blow up and he'll drop his Prophet's Bane. At which point, you can uh, pick it up. Now you'll notice that his Prophet's Bane on the ground, it actually says Energy Sword. And the handle is not red either. So, is this still the Ancestral Blade? Well, 
I'm not entirely sure. This is something I've been debating with a few people, actually. Everybody says that... So, in my original video about getting Arbiter's Prophet's Bane, I said that it was probably the Halo 5 Beta Prophet's Bane. But if you look at the icon in the top right, it shows the Energy Sword icon. And aside from the handle color, it, it pretty much is like the Ancestral Blade. Um, so, I don't know. It could be a third secret weapon, really. Maybe not related to the Ancestral Blade. The Ancestral Blade is definitely a unique weapon hidden in the game files that can only be brought out with modding in multiplayer in Forge. But in Campaign, a lot of people I've talked to, they they all agree that Arbiter's Prophet's Bane is the Ancestral Blade, despite the uh, small visual differences. So I don't know. That's you know up to you guys if you want if you want to if anybody else like knows about this specifically, feel free to chime in. But it, it might be the same. But, other than that, that's the uh, that's the closest thing you get to, to the uh, actual Ancestral Blade in the Halo 5 campaign. But yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys found this video to be interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, if there's anything else you want to check out or if you have more information about the Ancestral Blade and Arbiter's Prophet's Bane, just let me know in the comments and I'll you know take a look. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.